it is this is Vitorials and today I want to show you how to create this uh, very clean and uh, fresh uh, design in Adobe Illustrator and the main feature of this design is of course blurred background blurred background are widely used by designers uh, to denote freshness, cleanness, purity, naturalness and eco-friendliness so today we will design this uh, artwork let's get start with the photo, we need to download the photo. Please follow the link in the description. You will this link is follow you to this site. This is a splash. This uh, site is a pure treasure for every design. Click download. And the reason why I choose this photo because of this transition from uh, gray, light gray to uh, white and then green and very saturated green here. So download your photo. And now I'm going to uh, open this photo in Photoshop. So go to the file, open, uh, choose your photo. And I'm going to reduce the size of the image and then uh, adjust hue and saturation of uh, saturation of this image. So go to the uh, image, image size. Uh, make sure that your width and height is linked. Set the width to 1100 pixels and click OK. And now I go to Image Adjustments, Hue Saturation, uh, set the hue to minus 5 and set the saturation to, to around 20. I'm sorry, set the hue to 5 and set the saturation to uh, around 20. Click create, click OK. Now export, export your file. I will name it Aqua and now I'm going to place it in Adobe Illustrator so go to file new create the file with the same dim dimension so 1100 for width and 733 uh, for height click create now I'm going to play this uh, image in the Illustrator so go to file place select your image and place it then uh, go to the Align, choose Align to Artboard and align this image to horizontally and vertically center. Now I want to go to Panel Options and uh, increase my row size. Uh, it's going to get easier for everybody following this tutorial to see my layers. So now select uh, with Selection Tool select your photo, go to Effect, Blur, and choose Gaussian Blue and set the ra radius to 10 pixels and click OK. Now I'm going to create a gradient mesh. So go to Object, Create Gradient Mesh, leave all uh, values by default and click OK. Now I want to grab my Dirk Selection tool, select this anchors with uh, uh, holding Shift key and drag them to the top. I also want to select these uh, anchors and push them to the top far away to your artboard. I also want to grab this handle and move it to top and I want to select this, uh, uh, these anchors on the borders left and right and go to the airdropper tool and sample a very low satura saturated green here and I want to grab I'm sorry I want to grab this handle and push it to top and this I'm sorry this handle I will push this to top I also want to push to top this uh, to push this uh, anchors further to the top. So, uh, go return to selection tool, select your mesh and go to re recolor uh, artwork tool, this uh, color wheel icon. Go to the edit, you will see this uh, color wheel. Now uh, click on this icon to link how many colors and grab your handle with the largest circle and move all of your colors towards this blue like this it's okay 
now I want to unlink all of them go to assign and uh, I want to adjust some of my layers I want to adjust this layer increase the brightness of this layer and I want to adjust the, this layer maybe move them to what our green is okay now I want to sample I want to select this anchor this anchor and uh, sample a color from here to make it much 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 more light and from here and I want to I also want to sample my colors from here push the anchors further to the top and this anchors also to the top and I also want to grab these anchors on my borders to the top go to re the color artwork again select link your colors select this handle and move them to the to create this mint kind of mint color on your uh, bottom beautiful now what i want to do i want to lock this layer clicking on this free space and uh, name this layer as a background and i want to create this bubbles to create these bubbles please uh, go to the ellipse tool and uh, holding alt or option key and shift key create a 150 pixels uh, bubble set the color to white fill color to white and go to transparency panel if you can find your transparency panel go to windows transparency and set the blending mode from normal to soft light and now I'm going to grab this and move them to the symbols if you can find your symbols panel go to the windows symbols and here I want to change from movie clip to graphic and click OK and now I want to grab my symbol sprayer tool or click shift, shift S and create a bunch of symbols everywhere on my artwork uh, it's far enough now I want to grab my uh, symbol sizer tool and holding alt or option key reduce the size of some of my symbols now I want to grab my symbol screener tool double click on it and decrease the intensity of uh, my symbol screener tool to 5 and I want to make this bubbles less opaque this circles less opaque so I'm going to holding left mouse it's too much holding left mouse button key decrease the opacity of this circle oh beautiful uh, now I'm going to reduce the size of my artwork and uh, as as you know you can't to create a clipping mask with the mesh so we need to create a opacity mask unlock your layer select your background you can lock this layer with bubbles and uh, click make mask and now select this black uh, black square to uh, to select the mask go to your rectangle tool and create a white fillet rectangle in the center of your artwork align them horizontally align it vertically i think it's okay maybe grab it a little bit this nice fresh wind and reduce it here so it's okay so select this to stop editing uh, opacity mask now i'm going to lock this layer and unlock this layer with bubbles 
and I want to create another rectangle to fill this uh, entire artwork and click on this bullet and now right mouse button click and uh, choose or make clipping mask to create clip mask of your uh, bubbles and now I'm going to grab this artboard tool and reduce the size of my artboard so beautiful now I want to create uh, some kind of logo so I go to ellipse tool and create a circle 150 pixels height and white switch the fill color and uh, stroke color and set the stroke color to 4 points now I want to Ctrl C Ctrl F or Command C Command F to, to copy and paste in front and uh, holding Alt and Shift key or Option and Shift key reduce the size of this copy just for around 130 pixels oh I'm sorry and switch my uh, stroke color and uh, fill color and now I am going to grab this uh, holding Alt key or uh, Option key and move it a part of my original circle to create a duplicate on my top right and I want to select both of them holding Shift key go to Shape Builder tool and select this intersection and now return to my selection tool and uh, using backspace delete both this intersection and your uh, duplicate so now i am going to create word aqua and go to the char character panel if you can find your character panel go to the windows character go to your windows character uh, now i am going to proxima nova light I'm going to uh, set the fill color of this word to white and I also want to create uh, to choose all, all caps from this uh, <coughs> menu to capitalize every letter in my word and last but not least I want to create a line so go to the line tool create a line with a dropper tool you can sample this stroke color and then you can hold in alt or option key drag it and hold in shift key drag it to the, your bottom and ctrl d or command d to create a duplicate of your line and this is how you can create blurry background in adobe illustrator i hope you enjoy this tutorial i want to thank you for following this tutorial with me if you want to download this freebie you can uh, find this the link in the description Please subscribe to my channel, push the notification button, I will come back to you very soon. Good luck and happy Easter!